Hey guys, this is Gloria. So um, I was going to sit down and do some more coloring and um, with my pro markers that I have. And I noticed that um, my gray pro marker was drying out. And so um, I remember that I had this chromatic set. And this is a set that I picked up from Tuesday morning a little ways back. And some of you guys may remember when they um, had these on sale. Um, but I think... I think this was, I got these the first time they had the chromatic markers. I think they've had them a couple of different times. Actually, they probably have some now in the store. Um, so I was going to use the gray chromatic marker um, to finish coloring in my image. And I realized that um, that marker was dried out as well. And so I went through all my markers and I um, all of the markers that are actually sitting up in the tray are actually dried out. And so I was going to toss these away. And then I remembered that because they're alcohol based, um, it may help to put some alcohol in the marker. And maybe that's the thing, they're dried out because the alcohol is actually dried out. So um, in testing that, um, it actually worked. I um, test my gray marker and I put a little bit of alcohol in it and it actually started back working fine. Now, if you guys have some more, you know, expensive markers than the ones that I have and you want to try it out, please try it at your own risk because, you know, these are cheap markers that I was going to toss out. So I didn't care if I messed up the marker or not. I do think though that if you put um, a lot of alcohol in there and there's not a lot of pigment left, that the marker will actually um, um, lighten up, I guess. And if you don't care about that, then, you know, try it out if you have some markers. Um, so like this one here, if you guys can see how dry that is. And so um, all I did was I got um, my little dollar store pliers and I just took this part off of my marker. And as you can see, that's the part that actually holds the ink inside of it. And so all I did was I took some um, alcohol from the Dollar Tree, and this is 50% um, alcohol. And I just squirted some right down inside of this chamber here and just put my nib back on. So I'm going to do that um, off camera only because um, I can see it better. So I'm just squirting about um, 10 to 15 squirts inside of there. If you guys have a dropper, that probably would work really good. Um, and then I just um, reinsert the nib back in there. And you gotta kind of let it sit for a minute um, to kind of let the alcohol do its thing. And, um, you know, uh, that way the, the pigment and the alcohol can kind of react to one another. So I'm gonna leave that sitting for a minute and then I'm gonna try another marker. And again, this is how this marker looks, very dry. And so I'll try that one as well. And again, I'm just gonna take the little um, nib part off and just, oh, I'm just gonna put some alcohol in it. And I'm trying to get um, to that middle part right there, that where that little circle is. I'm trying to get the alcohol to go right down inside of there because if it goes on the outside part of the of that thing, then it's going to just drip alcohol outside of your marker, and you don't want that either. And so again, I'll just leave that sitting for a minute and let the alcohol kind of run down. And let's check on this one. This is the first one that I did, and this was. Um, when I first colored with it and as you can see that's what it looks like now I mean it really really rejuvenates that marker really good so I'm just going to give you guys a close-up and so this is the before the alcohol and this is the after the alcohol and I think it looks really good almost like it was a brand new marker so that is about it and so I'm just going to put that one back and let's see what the orange one is doing. This was the orange one before, and this is it afterwards. 
and it looks um this color is called apricot so it's like a, a dark orange color because this is apricot number three but as you can see that's the difference between the two the first one is the this is the before alcohol and this is after alcohol so it really does work so i would say um give it a try if your markers are drying out and you want to um you want to keep your markers and you want to just um lengthen your the life of your markers i guess so that is about it um i have not tried it with my gray pearl marker as of yet i know that you can take the tip off of it um and so um i'll try that in a minute just to see if that works um so that i won't have to toss away my marker so that is about it guys if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below and i'll get back with you as soon as i possibly can take care guys bye